Good afternoon, I'm Syrian Taylor. And I'm Mary McDonald, and this is Wolfpack News for Thursday, October 10th, 2013. Talking the news, it's homecoming week and we have one more day of spirit week. Tomorrow is school spirit, so wear your blue and silver. Also be sure to come to the homecoming football game tomorrow night. Juniors and seniors, want to earn a free ticket to prom or senior brunch and senior celebration? Help sell pies for prom and earn your ticket. Order forms can be picked up from your class sponsor, Ms. Subi in E395 or Ms. Calvi in F226. Orders with payment are due no later than October 30th. Do you like to watch cartoon and Japanese animations? Then come to Anime Club. They meet in F331 on Thursdays. If you want more information, see Mr. Leo Kakis in F331. All academic decathlon members should come to Ms. Capino's room in F227 to pick up their study materials. If you've read Divergent by Veronica Roth, stop by the LRC to receive a prize and enter your name into a drawing for continued prizes throughout the school year. If you haven't read the book, you can buy a copy in the LRC for $9.99 or stop by to get your name on a checkout wait list. Officer Pan is encouraging everyone to lock up their possessions. If you know of a school thief, call the tip line at 630-551-7300. Hal is selling Dick's Mini Donuts at the sophomore and varsity football game tomorrow during the homecoming game. If you would like to volunteer to help sell donuts, come see Ms. Kolzniak in Student Services this week to sign up. They are looking for students to volunteer anytime between 4.30 and the end of the varsity game. You can volunteer for an hour or the whole time if you like. You will receive community service hours. Here are some more ways to get service hours. Boulder Hill Elementary School needs help with Market Day Pickup and Oswego Land Park District needs volunteers for the Monster Mash Batch and much, much more. Come to Student Services for more ideas. There is an informational meeting for students interested in joining Mathletes today at 235 in, e room, in room E395. See Ms. Subi with questions. They're back. Stop by the LRC for your caramel apple suckers. Buy them for yourself or give them to a friend. 50 cents for each or three for a dollar. Money raised supports the school library. Get yours before they are gone. Weather is next, but first this message. Hey, you Kevin! Hello, would you two be quiet? We're taking a test in here. And now it's time for weather. Here's Princess Brittany. Today will be nice out with a high of 76 degrees and mostly sunny skies. Tonight, expect a low of 53 degrees. That's the latest in weather. Now back to the Anchor Desk. Hate Free at OE members are raising funds by selling Pura Vita bracelets for $5 each. The club will profit $2.50 from each bracelet. The funds will be used to purchase supplies so Hate Free can spread positive messages and promote tolerance throughout the walls of East. If you haven't bought a yearbook yet, do it now. Yearbooks are $55 and can also be purchased on yearbooksforever.com. Students who want to be after-school homework helpers for the Kids Connection program, see, please see Mr. Bryan in Student Services. And now it's time for entertainment. Here's Zach. Sorry, sorry, Edward Cullen. Catch you later. Damien Salvatore and all of you walkers can take a hike. After several years of success with vampires, zombies, and to lesser extent werewolves, Hollywood now can't seem to get enough of witches. Lifetime debuted its high-profile series, Witches of East End, on Sunday night, and last night came the premiere of the third season of American Horror Story, also focusing on the witchcraft subtitled Coven. That's the latest entertainment. Now back to the anchor desk. World Language Night is coming in November. On Tuesday, October, November 19th, the OEHS and OHS World Language Departments are working together to raise awareness about high school language classes and what each program has to offer. It is from 7 to 8.30 and everyone is welcome. If you're interested in a career in healthcare, on Saturday, October 24th, there will be a presentation from 8.15 to noon in the third floor auditorium in Edward Hospital. For registration information, please go to Student Services. On Saturday, October 19th, there will be a Stars of Hope Festival here at East. The night will be full of celebration of life and light. Tickets are $5 each and all proceeds will go to Suicide Prevention Service. National Art Honor Society students participating in face painting at the game tomorrow should meet with Mrs. O'Maracroft in B270 at 5.30 p.m. tomorrow. Please don't be late. Sports is next, but first a message about Wolfpack.
city go against me every time I'm in the street I hear yak 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 Go Wolfpack is to be as deep and rowdy as we can at the game. Gives us the ability to think better, play better, and all around do better every Friday. And now it's time for sports. Here's Princess Rachel. In girls golf, junior Lena Huang advanced to the IHSA sectional by shooting a 92 at Springbrook yesterday in the Neuqua Valley Regional. She will play Monday in Rockford. Winter sport athletes, to try out for any sport, you must register online and have a current physical on file in the athletic office. Specific trial information about dates and times will be posted on the individual sport pages when it becomes available. If you have any questions, please stop down in the athletic office. That's the latest in sports. Now back to the Anchor Desk. That's today's edition of Wolfpack News. I'm Syrian Taylor. And I'm Mary McDonald. Join us again tomorrow on East TV Channel 16. Thanks for stopping by, Wolves. And have, have a magical, magical day. day.